Joshua left a crystal pattern for young men to follow to assure a successful life while maintaining a happy and a peaceful home while living for and praising God. Whereas it has pleased the Almighty God to take from this world our dear brother Joshua Burks and has placed him among the host of saints that have all passed on to their reward on the high. And though it temporarily sets, saddens us that we will no longer see him on this side of the Jordan's River, we humbly submit to the divine will of God, knowing that we will see him again when we all shall joyfully gather around God's Our thoughts, prayers, and compassion will be extended to the family during this time of grief. Sir, on behalf of Los Angeles World Airports and American Airlines, our prayers and deepest condolences. Sir, the honor guard has been posted and the field is ready to accept the following. And I know that he watches He watches me
Don't tell me it's time to move on because I cannot. Don't tell me to face the fact that he is gone because denial is something I can't stop. Don't tell me to be thankful for the time I had because I wanted more. Don't tell me when I'm my old self, you will be glad I'll never be as I was before. What you can tell me is that you will be here for me, that you will listen when I talk of my brother and child. You can share with me my precious memories. You can even cry with me for a while. And please don't hesitate to say his name because it is something I long to hear every day. Friends, please realize that I can never be the same. But if you stand by me, you may like the new person I become someday. But one thing we know about Josh, he had a beautiful smile. I was sitting talking with Josh, and I'd be like, even though I'm his cousin technically, he calls me Auntie. And I would try to give him life advice that I've been through. And I would say, Josh, are you listening to me? He would smile and say, Yes, Auntie. I said, Josh, are you going to follow my advice? And he just smiled. <laughs> And I was like, I know, I didn't listen to my parents either. <laughs> but I still got to say, yeah. one thing we know about Josh, he was a faithful servant. He represented Second Baptist every time he woke up, every time he stepped out of the house, even in the service. You asked Josh to do anything at Second Baptist? Yes. Without hesitation. He would sing, say a poem, usher, run errands, get stuff out of your car, whatever you need. Josh was there, and he represented what the foundation of Second Baptist and a child of God is. It's it's my absolute honor to come up here and, and speak about Josh. Yeah. Uh, Josh was um, one of the kindest, one of the sweetest football players I've ever met, and what a tremendous athlete he was. I am always here, we're always here, Erica, Coach, we, um, anything you need, don't, please don't hesitate, any of us uh, here to help you out, and on behalf of myself and the Sooner football team, we, um, we honor Josh, and I remember my mom always telling me that the Lord takes the best of us first. They needed him. Just like the military needed him, the Sooners needed him, Lord needed him. He was my best friend, definitely, on the, everything we did together. We played football together, I was on my senior team with him. We were baptized together. Uh, I still remember us talking before we went in the water and gave our lives. And I just, I love him so much. He'll always make an impact. He was definitely a hero and seeing all the everything, all the police, the sheriffs, the whole the whole state, the whole country really. Uh, I mean when I think of memories, I have no bad memories of him. Just it's, it's all good. And I can go on and on about like all the memories I have of him. Uh, all the fun memories. So I mean he's uh, tearing up the closet door. <laughs> a lot of people call me Josh. Like they always get us mixed up. And so I've been called Josh twice already in the past like hour. So <laughs> uh, but before it kinda of bugged me, but it doesn't bug me anymore.